Hello everyone. Now this is going to be an important video for all of you who are preparing for the CAT 2020 examination. Why? The reason is simple. One of the important topics which will always be consistent across any of the year of CAT paper is time field distance. And many of the students actually face a lot of difficulty when you solve the advanced level questions of time field distance. This video will discuss one of the important pattern of question which is on meeting time. You might have seen many of the questions in the previous CAT paper or the mock test where two people are running in the opposite direction and the questions are asked with respect to when, what, what time will they meet and after what is the distance covered by both of them when they meet x, y, z. So either the question will be on the meeting time when would they meet for the first time and the question or the question could be on the distance what is the distance covered by both of them when they uh, meet at the given point. Okay, But this kind of question which I am giving you is slightly unique because not enough data will be given to you. And the question that I have taken now is from the previous year CAD question. As you can see, it's a complete blank screen. You cannot see much of the data available. All what is being given to you, if I have to explain you the first question, uh, it's going to be an important topic and concept for all of you who are facing difficulty with time field distance because this shortcut or technique will help you out to crack the CAT level question in less than 60 seconds. Okay. The question says, let's say there are two people A and B who are running in the opposite direction. So, uh, let's say the guy A can cover the entire distance in one hour starting when he leaves the home from 4, 4 p.m. and he reaches his destination by 5 p.m. On the other side, the only thing which is available for B is he leaves at 4 p.m. and he reaches at 5.30 p.m. and they will meet at some point of time. Okay, so the question is, uh, after what time, after what time and or at what given time will they meet uh, on the given line? It's the only question. The only data which is available to you in this question is time. Time taken by A and time taken by B. This is the only thing which you will see. People who have seen this kind of question, many of the institutions will teach you to solve this question by using a formula, which is not highly recommended. Using simple proportionality techniques, you can solve the question. Or the only thing which is required for you to solve this question is the relationship between time, speed and distance. We know speed and time is directly proportional with distance. So, speed is directly proportional with distance and time is also directly proportional with distance. And the relationship between speed and time is inversely proportional when distance is constant. This is the three basic thing which I believe all of you would know. If you know this much, you can crack this question in less than 30 seconds also. I will take some more time because I have to explain you also. Uh, so, we will consider a couple of cases where first when the time is constant, second when the distance is constant and third when the speed is constant. Okay. Let's consider, it has been given to you that there are two people A and B. To cover the same distance, A has taken 1 hour and B has taken 1.5 hour. So the ratio of A to B ideally, the ratio of A to B in terms of time, in terms of time is how much? This is 2 is to 3. This is 2 is to 3. We know speed and time is inversely proportional. So if time taken is 2 is to 3, the distance by which they were, they were running, A and B, will be in the ratio of 3 is to 2. Okay, so if I consider speed to be constant, I know the speed will be in the proportion of 3 by 5 and 2 by 5 respectively for A and B. This is when the time was constant, which we found out. Second, let's consider the total distance between A and B is also constant. The total distance between A and B is also constant. That is something which you know. Now tell me the relationship between speed and distance. You will say speed and distance is directly proportional. So, if the ratio of speed is 3 to 2, you will say the ratio of distance covered will also be 3 to 2. So, I know the ratio of distance covered at any given juncture, the ratio of distance covered at any given juncture will be how much? 3 to 2. If I consider they meet at this point, if I consider this as my meeting point, A will cover 3 fifth of the entire journey till here and 2 fifth of the entire journey after the meeting point. So, before the meeting point, A will cover 3 fifth of the entire meeting the distance and total distance and two-fifths of the other distance will be covered after the meeting point. That's something which you found out by looking into the proportionality of speed and distance. Now let's consider the case when speed is constant. We also know whichever speed they are running on A and B will also be a constant speed. Now tell me the relationship between distance and time when speed is constant. You will say whatever is the ratio of distance the same will be the ratio of time taken to cover. Now tell here at this juncture, so let's say you have 4 p.m. and you have 5 p.m. 
okay uh, technically if you divide the entire line into five phases one two three four and five like this let's let me remove this let's say one two three four five so you'll see at the meeting point three-fifth of the entire distance will be covered after the meeting point two-fifths of the entire meeting our distance will be covered by a right we also know the relationship between distance and time is also directly proportional so if the distance covered is in the ratio of 3 to 2 among a and b the time taken will also be 3 to 2 the time taken will also be how much 3 to 2 that's it that is the only thing which you require now it is it is known to you that let's say if, if you divide the entire line into five phases the meeting point will be till the third point the meeting point will be on the third point right and the total time taken by a till the meeting point will be nothing but three fifths of the whole time and after the meeting point it's going to cover two fifths of the distance and two fifths of the total time because we know distance is directly proportional with time so we know the overall distance covered by a has been covered in one hour okay but we have to cover only three fifths of the overall distance so can we say three fifths of the overall distance will be covered in three fifths of the whole time three fifths of one hour one hour is 60 minutes will be how much 36 minutes will be how much 36 minutes which means the meeting point will happen at 4 hours and 36 minutes i hope this is clear to all of you who have seen this video all the only thing we have covered is like three important steps first consider time is constant second consider distance is constant and third consider speed is constant in fact you can get the answer in fact you can get the answer from the second step only where the distance is nothing but 3 to 2 3 fifth of the whole distance will be covered you know distance is directly proportional with time so 3 fifth of the distance will be covered at the meeting point by covering 3 fifth of the whole time that's it the answer will just be over, over there just to teach you I incorporated one more step here so the answer for this question is how much it is 4 hours 36 minutes let's take one more question based on this this is also a card question a and B. So A starts its journey by 4 p.m. and reaches by 6 p.m. B starts its journey by 4 p.m. and reaches by 7 p.m. And the question is, they will meet at some point. So tell me, after how much time, when they start the journey, both of them started the journey by 4 p.m. Okay. You can complicate the whole scenario by changing the starting point or starting time. One starts at 4 p.m. and second starts by 4 or 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. The question difficulty will keep on changing, but the concept will not be difficult. It's an easy concept to learn. The only thing which you have to look into is first consider the time is constant. Time taken by A is to B is in the ratio of 2 is to 3. If time is 2 is to 3, my speed is inversely proportional which will be 3 is to 2. If speed is in the ratio of 3 is to 2, the distance covered which will also be in the same proportion which is 3 is to 2. Now if I consider my speed is constant, we know distance is directly proportional with time. So time taken to cover again time taken to cover 3 fifth of the whole distance till the meeting point will be 3 fifth of the whole time till the meeting point and after the meeting point 2 fifth of the uh, remaining number of hours which is there. So till the meeting point A will take 3 fifth of the total time. That's how it's simple it is. Just in 3 lines I repeat, just in 3 lines you can crack these cat level question. All what you have, I'll again redo it, time 2 is to 3. Speed will be reversed 3 is to 2. Distance till the meeting point will be 3 is to 2. So 3 fifth of the whole distance will be covered by A till the meeting point and 2 fifth will be covered by B. And now to cover this, that same distance in the same time, you basically have the same proportion of time 3 by 2. So 3 by 5 of the whole time will be taken by A and 2 by 5 will be covered after the meeting point. The total journey is for 2 hours for A. So we are considering 2 hours ka how much time? 3 fifth. Okay, 3 fifth will be how much? 60 percentage. 60 percentage of 2 hours will be how much? 50 percentage is 1 hour and uh, 10 percentage is 6 minutes. So 1 hour 6 minutes you may consider. So at 5.06, at 5.06 p.m. they will meet for the first time. That's how simple it's going to be for you to crack these questions. It is not a difficult question provided you have the right frame of mind to solve this question. I wish you all the very best for watching uh, for uh, the upcoming CAT examination. If you have loved this video, please click the like button. Please share with your friends and subscribe to the Given channel so that we can you can get more updates about uh, the CAT and the other management examination. Thank you so very much. Thank you.